Since morning, the European currencies have been boosting by rumors that London and Brussels may sign an agreement in the near future. However, the pound sterling lost its positions amid the UK lending market data. Only the UK mortgage lending figures somehow encouraged market participants. Thus, the indicator advanced by 1.2 billion pounds, whereas economists had expected a drop of 2 billion pounds. At the same time, mortgage approvals declined. Moreover, the Bank of England consumer credit decreased by more than 4.5 billion pounds. In general, the UK lending market data is rather disappointing. At the same, uh, the US housing market showed all signs of recovery. For example, the US spending home sales are expected to jump by 18%. The indicator measures the change in the number of homes under contract to be sold but still awaiting the closing transaction. It means that in the following months the number of transactions may go on rising. Notably, the market revival is usually accompanied by growing consumer activity. In other words, the US economy is getting back on track. Last week, the pound-dollar pair was moving from the level of 1.2770. Buyers failed to keep the quote. The pair resumed falling, broke the level of 1.2350 and hit a one-week low. The price once again consolidated near 1.2350. It means that traders are holding short positions. This may lead the pair to the level of 1 and 21.50 if the price remains below 1.23. It may start moving towards 1.22 and 21.50. According to the alternative scenario, the pound dollar pair may hover near the level of 1.2350 within the range of 50-60 pips. Last week, the euro dollar pair was recovering and then dropped. Traders are focused on the level of 1.1180 as the past movement near this level may determine its future trend. The price may go on falling to the hit the range of 1.0775, 0.885 and 1.10. According to the second scenario, the pair may start trading within the range of 1.1180, 1300 and 1500. However, everything depends on the pair's dynamic near 1.1180. Let's take a look at the current trading chart. We can see a rebound that may lead to the upward correction to the level of 1.13. However, the price may hit resistance within the range of 1.1280 and 1.13 and return to 1.1190 and 1.1240. That's all for now. We keep monitoring the financial market situation. Subscribe to our channel. See you in several hours.